Hello, Lopez Academy parents. This is Scott Carroll, Lopez Academy principal. We are here with our weekly video bulletin. We thank you for watching and uh, feel free to email us or call us with any questions. So the first thing we wanna share with you is that this Wednesday, uh, we'll be hosting a parent Canvas training. Um, the training will be in English and in Spanish. Um, trainers are gonna give an overview of Canvas and then walk parents through the process of joining Canvas um, the parent app for Canvas, which allows you to have information about your students' assignments, attendance, communication with teachers, um, lots of good information. So we invite you to attend this tomorrow night, Wednesday, October 7th, from 6 to 7. Um, the link um, is on our website and was also emailed out, but you can always call us or email us if you do need the link. We hope to see you there. All right, we also want to invite you to our first Lopez Academy PTA meeting of the year. It's going to take place on October 14th at 530. We need your help. We need to have a good number of parents there um, and, and staff members there so that we can have a quorum. This is a general meeting, meaning that we'll be voting to elect our officers. Just because you're there doesn't mean we're going to elect you um, unless you want to, but please join us, plan on joining us. Um, we are also going to give out t-shirts to the first 10 families that sign in. Um, you'll get our new Lopez Academy t-shirt. So please join us um, on the 14th at 5.30. We will be sending out more information, including the Zoom link as we get closer. All right, this is our last week um, for the Lopez Academy uh, Hispanic Heritage Month student essay or poster contest. We do have some entries coming in. Some students are also doing this as part of their class. We wanna remind you that th these entries are due by Tuesday, October 13th. So your student can choose to do either a poster or a short essay. You can see the information on here. We also have the information on our website um, or some students have chose to do both. Um, but we wanna see, um, see students' creativity and get them involved. But the uh, deadline is the end of the day on Tuesday, October 13th. So about a week from now, please encourage your student to join us. Um, the winners will get not only Lopez Academy t-shirts, but we're also gonna recognize the winning essays and posters on our website and social media. So hurry, time is running out, one week left. All right, we wanna quickly remind our parents and students of our live Zoom class student expectations. Um, you'll see the sheet or the picture on the right there. We've reviewed this with all of our students, but we also wanna remind everyone that it is a requirement that students do attend live Zoom sessions. It's not optional. Um, each one of their three live Zoom sessions, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, students should be joining in. If there's some kind of problem, a technical issue, um, that doesn't allow your student to sign in, please um, have them email their teachers right away and let them know. Um, if you can't figure out how to do it, please stop by the school. We will definitely help you get connected to those classes, but they are required. Um, students should stay for the entire Zoom session. They shouldn't log in for five or 10 minutes. Sessions take anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, depending upon the teacher. We do want students to stay for that full time. Um, we all, all want to also remind you that on Wednesdays, um, when students are not live Zooming with teachers, um, students are required to complete the assignments given to them by the end of the day or by the deadline on Wednesday in order for them to get attendance credit for Wednesday. So Wednesday's attendance, as a reminder, is entirely based upon students completing the assignments that have been assigned to them. Um, our expectation is that students should have their camera on when requested by the teacher unless they've already spoke with the teacher um, and have an arrangement about the camera being off. But otherwise, we do expect our students to have their camera on. Um, just a last reminder, most teachers provide additional support um, either one-on-one -on -one or with a small group of students immediately following the Zoom session. So if your student is having issues or having some troubles, please encourage them to stick around after the live Zoom session is done. Usually the teacher will stay on and ask questions. They can also reach out during office hours. All right, at this point, I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Reagan. Thank you, Mr. Carroll. I just wanted to remind all of our families that our next ELAC meeting will be on the 26th of October at 6 p.m. via Zoom. The link will be emailed uh, once we get closer to that time. So please parents, if you would like to participate with our ELAC organization, please make sure to attend our next meeting, October 26th at, at 6 p.m. So please save the date. Also parents, I would love for your children to be involved in our TRIO program. TRIO is an incredible program that is run by uh, uh, staff members that work in conjunction with Cal Lutheran University, which is a local university here in Thousand Oaks. This is a great opportunity for our students to get involved and start uh, thinking ahead and start thinking about uh, college opportunities. Um, TRIO meets about twice a month via Zoom, uh, 
will be this, the way we will be meeting this time around. And each session is approximately 45 minutes where they can get uh, support with homework if they need it, um, information about universities and the importance of staying connected and having good grades on campus. If you would like your child to participate in this amazing program, please make sure to contact myself, Ms. Ramirez, our school counselor, or Ms. Rato, our ORC, who is here present with us. Also parents, uh, D's and F notices uh, will be going home shortly. And we think it's a perfect opportunity for you to become familiar with Parent Connect. Parent Connect is a way that you can log in to um, your students' information and be able to see their grades, their attendance, and much more. I will be sending out tutorials and videos on how you can get connected. Please reach out to our office if you need the code to join in. Um, if you do not have the code yet but want to see this information, your students can um, access Student Connect, which is the same information. They will need their student ID number, is their username, and their password is their uh, regular birthday combination. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach our office. Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Elba, Outreach Specialist, ORC, and I want to uh, have um, an announcement for the parents that are currently uh, our parent committees in District ELAC, as well as our, our school side ELAC, uh, these parents are uh, going to be a having a training, excuse me, and these are parents that are involved already in the committees for the English Learner Advisory Committee. Um, these trainings were gonna are going to take place today, Tuesday, October 6th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And it's just a friendly reminder for these parents to um, go ahead and um, be part of this. And uh, I have emailed all of the parents uh, in these both committees, and I hope they can make it. And um, thank you. And the next slide will be um, for Project to Inspire, which is part of GABE. Project to Inspire is a program that encourages um, parents to participate in uh, their child's um, education. And there's different workshops in these uh, uh, parent workshops are only provided in Spanish. Uh, there's none available in English at this time. Uh, these uh, parent workshops are uh, going to be every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. and Wednesdays from 9 to 10 in the morning. They will begin October 13 and they will finish December 8th. These will be uh, via Zoom virtual meetings. Um, if any of you are interested, you could either reach me at eserrato at oxnarsd.org or you could uh, call my extension 5106 and or the other person that you could reach is Mr. Men Mendoza and his email is a2mendoza at oxnardsd.org and his number is 385-1501 extension 2358 at the school district. The other uh, great resource in our community um, in uh, our Spanish also, Spanish classes only at this time. We have a group of wonderful parent volunteers that support our school district. Um, these parents uh, have a nonprofit organization called Padres Promoviendo la Educación. And here's the link for the Facebook. You can learn more about it. Um, they have uh, coordinated meetings every Tuesday uh, Spanish uh, virtual Zoom meetings every Tuesday, either at 9 in the morning or at 6 p.m. Uh, these uh, parents provide support uh, for all of the Oxnard Elementary School uh, district parents, and they support on uh, guiding the parents, um, such as uh, learning uh, how to use the applications your child is uh, currently utilizing uh, in their ICANS, and how to understand your child's grades, exams, and overall, how can you as a parent provide support in all the academic areas for your child? They have great weekly get guests in very important uh, topics that are much uh, benefit for you. If you are interested in the Spanish uh, parent um, weekly meetings, you could uh, reach uh, Jessica Vargas 
at 805-607-8176 or Miriam Cervantes, 805-253-4671 or the email padresjuntos04 at gmail.com. The other great opportunity uh, for our students transitional kinder all the way to eighth grade uh, tutoring at no cost in our community and um, you, uh, the parent, are more than welcome to pre-register your child at oxnardrec.org. This is part of uh, the Oxnard Parks and Recreation. They are offering uh, bilingual support uh, for your child uh, or children and parents do need to pre-register. These um, are three different locations, Colonia Basketball Gym, Durley Center, which is the park next to our school site, and Pell Center at the Southwinds. If you are interested, please um, log in in um, oxnardrec.org and sign up your child. Or if you need support, please uh, call me at 385-1545 um, extension 5106. All right. And that concludes our video bulletin for this week. We want to thank you for sticking with us and listening to the information. Reach out to us if you have any questions. We also want to remind you to follow us on social media. You can find us on our brand new Facebook page, as well as Twitter, YouTube, and uh, Instagram. So we hope to see you there. Thank you, and have a great week. Bye.